G'day, and welcome back to Button Bash's Blast from the Past. Well, I hope you got spare undies, because you're going to shit yourself when you see what I got in store for you today. Who remembers Flash Gordon for the Commodore 64? Nobody, because it was shit. But what we do remember is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Symphony of the Night was published by Konami in 1997 for the PlayStation and has become a cult classic. You take the role of Elicard, the half-human, half-vampire with a thirst for kicking ass. The aim of the game is to kill Dracula, who just so happens to be your dad. I kicked my old fella in the neck his once and he grounded me for a month. I'm allowed out again on Wednesday, so fuck you, Dad. Or oh, actually. Hey, Bo, edit that out, mate. I'm allowed out again on Wednesday, so fuck you, Dad. Or oh, actually. Edit that out, Bo. Anyways, I think Castlevania Symphony of the Night is an absolute belter. And that's why it gets a button basher rating of 9 out of 10. Okay, let's get on to the next one, because I'm touching cloth here. Super Mario Bros. 2 was first released in North America in October 1988. Crikey, that's the year I was born. And in Power Regions the following year. You can play as Mario, Peach, Toad and Luigi, who must all work together to defeat the evil... What? What happened to Bowser? By pulling up turnips and throwing him. What the? That doesn't play anything like the first Super Mario Brothers. That's because this game is actually just a mod for the Japanese game Doki Doki Panic. <laughs> I know. Crazy, right? Those sneaky Japs thought the West would find the real Super Mario Brothers to be too difficult. So they gave us this little beauty. Well, where's the real sequel to the 1985 Super Mario Bros then? Well, it was released only in Japan in 1986. Known in the West as Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. But in Japan as Super Mario Bros. 2. Nintendo has always tried different things with their games and characters. And I appreciate this little gem for what it is. That's why I give it a button basher rating of 8 out of 10. For my last pick of the day, we head back to 1988 to take a look at Sega's Altered Beast. You start the game rising from your grave as a skinny runt of a centurion. But get a couple of blue balls down ya, and you turn into either a werewolf, a thunder wear dragon, a wear bear, a wear tiger, or a golden werewolf, depending on what stage you're on. The sword scrolling beat em up game Altered Beast is an arcade classic. I used to play this on the Mega Drive back in the day. And despite Adam Price giving me a wet willy while I was fighting Neff on the last level, I have great memories of this game. And for that, I give it a button basher rating of 6.5 out of 10. I have great memories of this game. And for that, I give it a button basher rating of 6.5 out of 10. Okay, that's it for today's episode. I hope you like what you saw. Keep it down, Jim. It's 3am in the morning, you pellet. <laughs> I see what you did there, John, you little cunt. Shut up, Dad. I'm filming a video for YouTube. <clears throat> Until next time, I'm Button Basher, over in Jim. <laughs>